But let's see in general for cancers, what energies are gonna be swirling around for the month of July. Your challenge or focus, we've got the, uh, the page of coins. So this can work in a couple of different ways. This could be um, a child who's proving challenging for you. <laughs> uh, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, this could, be, it, it, as far as a challenge goes, I mean, you've really got good runes around this, so I don't really feel like it's a challenge per se, but you could have a very studious, serious child or dealing, you know, it may not be your child at all, but you may be dealing with, um, a child like this maybe you're a teacher and it's and it's a kid in your class who's just maybe um maybe not being challenged enough or um not uh, applying themselves in school because they're very smart and they're kind of bored would be the uh would be the way that i would consider that if it is coming up as a as a person uh, for many of you, though, this could be like you're waiting on news regarding, though, a new job, a new uh, a course of study. Maybe you are in, you enrolled in a program or enrolled in a school. You're trying You're waiting to see if you got in um, or you interviewed for a job. You applied for your for a job and you're waiting to hear news. You're waiting to hear uh, back if you if you got it. So uh, that's not a big challenge. I just feel like, yeah, some of you are waiting on news or, or dealing with a kid that either needs to have more fun or who is bored in their studies um, and it's like you're trying to get them to maybe put the books down and go out and have some more fun or put the video games down and go out and have more fun, uh, go outside and play, that kind of stuff. Um, pages do not have to be children, they can also be adults, but it would normally be somebody that you view as younger, so a younger sibling or, uh, you know something like that. So maybe you have a younger sibling going out to college or, or moving to start a new job. Um, some of you may be just spending a lot of time with your kids or you're trying to find time because it is summertime here in the Northern Hemisphere. So the kids are, you know, home and you may be like trying to find time, carve out time to spend more quality time with them, take them to do things during summer uh, while they're off school. And uh, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with that. You may be planning something in particular. I'm seeing Disney World. So somebody may be going to Disney World or Disneyland or uh, planning to take the kids there this summer. Um, and for some of you, you're planning like a hidden surprise. Maybe some of you have a kid that has a, uh, has a birthday in the summertime. And you are uh, planning a, a surprise party or planning something special to do uh, for that. But those of you um, that are waiting on job news or waiting to hear if you got into school, I feel like you feel like the interview process went really well because Bunyo, the rune of joy, is here. So um, it's like you're waiting on joyful news or expecting joyful news. And uh, there may just be, and maybe it's taking longer than you would like. or And this may be due to hidden factors because Pedro is here. So, I mean, you know, there may be things going on behind the scenes. Maybe they had more applicants than they were thinking or they've got to interview more people than they were thinking. Um, something of that nature. In the present energy, so the end of June as we move into July, Cancer, you have Seven of Cups in reverse. So this is a card of um, reality setting in. And for many of you, this is involving um, perhaps a family situation or a family member, maybe an older family member or uh, something of that nature because we have Ophila, the rune of inheritance, older family members, inherited traits. In the reverse, it can indicate delay and frustration um, with someone. Uh, and this can also be, it doesn't have to be family, it can just be delay and frustration because someone is not putting in effort in a relationship, in a job. Um, they're not doing the things they said they would do. Maybe someone else in the family is not taking care of an older relative or looking after them properly uh, or looking, maybe there's a daycare situation. Again, going back to the this younger energy that you feel is not looking after the kids properly. Um, but whatever this is, when this room is in reverse, it's like someone has done something or gotten themselves into a situation that they can't talk or buy their way out of. They've got to like, 
you know, and I don't feel this is you, Cancer. I feel this is someone you're dealing with that's causing disruption maybe within the family or it's causing disruption within your schedule um, to try to get something sorted out. But this seems to be energy, yeah, again, it's in the present. So here at the end of June that you're trying to kind of clear up. Um, this is a card in the reverse of illusions being shattered. So anything that, you know, anybody that was kind of maybe trying to hoodwink you or present themselves as something they are not, you're seeing them for the for who they are uh, at this point. And it may not be pleasant, um, either because they're just not a very nice person or because you were hoping that they were someone else, someone that they're not. Um, so... Again, that's going to apply to you in different ways depending on who this person is. But it is somebody who's not putting in effort or not being fair. They could be being very selfish. Uh, it's all about what they want, not considering um, other members of the family or not considering you. Uh, and, and it is just causing arguments and things or maybe caused arguments in June. Yeah, because the help that's going to be available to you, you've got seven of wands. So this is saying you need to stand up for yourself and your rights in whatever this situation is, Cancer. Um, you know, once you do that, I feel like that's why, because I know last month you had kind of a challenging uh, energy going on. I think the universe is kind of pushing you to, you know, fight back. Stand, it's time. Stand up for you. Defend yourself. Um, probably verbally. Hopefully not physically. Um, but, yeah, the seven of, seven of Wands is about defending your viewpoint, defending yourself, your rights, your property, what is yours, who is yours, against naysayers or against people who are... Um, you know, kind of coming at you. The thing is, though, with the Seven of Wands, and especially in the advice position, is that you have the higher ground, meaning you're the one that is uh, in the right here. Sorry about the interruption, Cancer. Uh, I had to change batteries right out the gate, of course. But as I was saying, no, you, the advice is stand up to whoever your naysayers are, whoever are, whoever is kind of coming at you in July, because that is how you're going to get out of that energy. That's how you're going to move out of that energy. Um, maybe it's time some people see that they've pushed you too far or taken advantage of you one too many times, because um, with so Aluga, the sun room here, that indicates a victory, but... Um, you may tend to give up in the face of these things normally where, because you feel that um, you either just don't want to deal with it or, or because people are uh, maybe you feel they have um, more power than you in a certain situation or that they um, are overpowering you in some way. So it's time to fight back, Cancer. That's what I'm seeing here. And again, it's kind of like any difficult energy you're encountering, like we were talking about last month. It's going to keep coming up until you deal with it, basically. That's what, that's what life is. It's like whatever we don't want, it, it, you, you got to figure out the right way to deal with it. And you just kind of try different things until... <laughs> and finally something will work and put an end to that energy. So um, don't stay in it. Um if all you have to do to get out of this is say, hey, enough's enough, do it. July's the month. Uh, what must be accepted? We do have the devil card in reverse. So this is a good card in reverse because it means a, a release from bondage or being liberated from a trying circumstance or a situation that you felt trapped in. So again, uh, you know, standing up for yourself is going to pay off, you know, um, I feel like you've been very patient with somebody who has either been like maybe disappearing or um, there may have been a separation or, you know, a split of some sort. Someone you haven't heard from in a while. And um, because maybe you did have words or it could be that they, this happens after you actually say, hey, you know what? This isn't fair to me. Enough's enough. Maybe after you say that, yeah, they'll kind of take off, but it's liberating you from the devil, basically. It's liberating you from something that was weighing you down. You may not even realize that 
something and this could be a job it doesn't have to be a person but um it could be that as soon as you cut off from this person and kind of take a break stop speaking to them that you are like wow I'm, I'm really kind of liberated from that negativity or or arguing with this person or they're unfair like how they would take advantage of me and um it actually feels really good now, for some of you, you're being li you are being liberated from a job situation because again, we were talking about I'm trying to start a new job, I'm trying to get this promotion, I'm trying to get into this uh, study course or this certification program. You're getting good news and an offer or an acceptance in the month of July. So, yeah, I, June into July, that first little bit may again we're kind of finishing up energy from June, and then depending on how you handle it. Cancer, you can really um, start reaping the rewards. And uh, those of you that are looking for work, applying, talking, waiting on news in July, uh, many of you are going to get an offer. Um, because I think many of you, this is this devil is your is your work. Whatever you're doing for work, you just feel really. Um, it's just a real slog, and you feel trapped. Um, either by circumstances or maybe a boss or, or because maybe this is for some of you, this is this boss, this person who was coming up as the uh, selfish individual um, who's, who's causing disruption in your life. It could be a boss or someone that, you know, just demands a lot, but for no reward. Um, for many of you, this news could be coming in. This job offer could be coming in from something you interviewed for quite some time ago because we were talking about some delays going on and maybe if you interviewed during that period um, in April and May where all those planets were retrograde um, I mean news could be coming in from as long ago as that because I do feel like it's been like okay I, the interview went really good I thought I made a good impression and then just radio silence <laughs> and I've been waiting 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 and I kind of gave up on them and then finally they they got back to me um some of you may be applying going on this interview in July. And if you do, it may be one that you're a little bit like it's either maybe far away. Maybe you're really nervous about the interview. Uh, who isn't? Everybody gets nervous about job interviews. It's not I don't think it's anything. <laughs> it's not anything anybody looks forward to, I don't think. But uh, don't let that stop you from going. It, it is one of those things where it's like, you know, you got to go defend, you know, sell yourself, defend yourself, say, OK, uh, here's my, here are my strengths, you know, um, whatever they throw at you, seven of rods doesn't have to be a card of battle and arguments, although it, that's normally what it is. It is more of a conflict card. It can also just be a lot of questions being fired at you and you, but you are again on the higher ground. So you'll answer whatever they throw at you. Just be honest, you know, uh, be honest and sell yourself, sell your strengths without throwing anybody else under the boss, under the bus especially maybe your current boss it's funny how boss and bus you may want to throw that boss under the bus um, but yeah whenever you're interviewing for a new job if you're talking negatively about where you're working now that doesn't usually tend to go over too well because like, they feel like well if she ever leaves here he or she ever leaves here they'll talk about about me too so just keep that in mind um, but yeah, there may be a job interview. It may be far out or far away from your home, or um, it could be something to where you would get, need to relocate. And you're like, oh, I don't really. Go ahead and take the interview because I feel like uh, the money and there's a lot of luck and protection around this as well. Any interviews or, or jobs you're looking into in July, Cancer. Because the outcome is eight of coins. So again, apprenticeship, learning a new skill, getting a new job, getting promotions. Um, a lot of work, but it's work you love. It's work you're enjoying. Um, it may require a lot of attention to detail. For some of you, it could be that, you know, there is the, the new element of this because with eight of coins, there is always like, you know, you're training to learn something new, um, or going to school to learn something new or taking a course or something. Um, but it's something you've never done before for many of you, this new element, it's like, okay, yes, a lot of the job is based on your past experience, but then you'll also be doing this. And it's this new element that could change your life for the better. So either you could be earning new, in, you know, earning more, um, 
it could lead to uh, future jobs where you're more focused on the new aspect of this. Um, it'll be more responsibility, more work. But again, I, I think you're going to enjoy the newness of it, the freshness of it, the new element that's added, the new skill that you're learning. And um, that coupled with the money, of course. So... Um, yeah, for those of you that have been very kind of patient, looking for new work, looking for a new job, looking to increase your pay, increase your status with the title, the job title uh, in some way, I think you're going to be very happy in July. Some of you may be starting in August as well because this is an eight and that's where we're ending because, you know, July, we're going into August. So for some of you, maybe you interview in July, you don't start the job until August or maybe you apply for the job, then you don't hear anything until August. So, I mean, July and August seem significant for those of you that are looking for work. Um, there could also be some new health news for those of you who this isn't coming up as work, uh, where you're not looking for new work or not interviewing. Uh, this could also be a new treatment or a new approach to a health issue for maybe this older relative, for those of you that that's how that was playing out. Um, you could be waiting on news about health regarding uh, regarding someone and it, it may be a bit disruptive the news that comes in or their condition may be concerning you but it, look, it does look like with the eight of coins there is a, an approach or a treatment that will bring stability back to this person's health or your health if it's you cancer because again um, these energies can always work both ways. Uh, sometimes they'll be talking about you. Other times they're going to be talking about people around you that affect you. Um, but that is what I see, Cancer, um, for the month of July. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn person, too, because we've got this page of coins. This page of coins could be a Capricorn since the double card is 